Hi everyone, Jerry Costello from Food Pantry Software.net, and uh, this is version 2.0. And in the previous video, I went over a lot of the uh, basics. Uh, in this version right here, what we've done is we added a barcode feature and an inventory feature to this, and I'm going to show that to you briefly. So when a new client comes in, enter right their name, and uh, once that when the name is entered into the system, a uh, barcode ID is issued to the client. You can see right here, and uh, that, that's their barcode ID. And uh, I wanted to print out that barcode. I would just go to print one barcode, look up the person's name, and uh, you can see right here, the information would be all right here. Uh, their ID and a barcode, print barcode. Typically the labels come on a sheet and there's 10 labels per sheet. And uh, if this is a full sheet, you can just go ahead and click OK. But if you had used some labels previously, say, you know, you'd use the first five, you click on the one where you want like to start, click OK. And you can see right here, uh, the, your food pantry name would be first, their name followed by their ID first in barcode and also our human readable uh, ID. And uh, the nice thing about this is with, pan with the pandemic, one particular food pantry is going to, uh, they have barcode scanners. And so when the clients come to the food pantry, they stay in their car and uh, there's a volunteer out in the, in the parking lot by the food pantry, holds a plastic tray out to the, uh, the client. They put their card on there, and uh, they, using a, using a barcode scanner, they scan the, the uh, client right into the system. And they give a, the card back to the, the patron, and they pop the trunk, and the food is put right in there, into their trunk. So that's with the barcode feature. Uh, and, uh, but once you can print many barcodes, you, you select as many as you want here, there, there, and same thing, print many barcodes, select the one you want to start, it comes right there, you can print those out. And so what a lot of the food pantries do is they print out these labels, and these labels go onto an ID card that uh, you can buy with wherever you buy the labels, they have ID cards, it goes right on there. And the plastic ID cards, they last a lot longer than the cardboard ones. And this will go right on there. And that takes care of the barcode feature. And uh, so the inventory feature, this is a new feature also. Fast scan in, using barcode scanners, you can just scan the product in. And uh, it just scan it one at a time. Or you could scan or type the product in. And scan use the barcode scanner. Or just select the one that's right in the system. And the quantity, and just click save, and it gets into the system. The same thing with scanning things, the products out. You can scan, you know, fast scan products out of the food pantry using a barcode scanner, or one at a time. Or you could do many. Once again, you can use a barcode scanner, and just put the quantity in, or just or click whatever the product is. And uh, so reports. It gets a report on when products were scanned into the system or scanned out of the system. So it's a preview, products in, and these are all the products that were scanned in. Of course, this is test data. And uh, these are the products that were scanned out for that period of time, and the date's right there. And uh, also, uh, you can have an Excel file for the products, you know, uh, anything that's scanned in or scanned out can be outputted to an Excel file. And then we have current reports. And so this is the inventory that's actually in the system right now. So I'll click preview or print. And the inventory is sorted by the description. I'll run that. It has the date. And this is by the description. And second page right there. So that's all the inventory that's in the system. Once again, this is test data. And uh, inventory, so this inventory is sorted by UPC, if you want that or on that. And it's in order by the UPC. And this inventory is sorted by quantity to see what you have the most of at a glance. And it starts at the top, 90, 67, and goes all the way that way. 
And also, you can have this uh, an Excel file printed out for the inventory using, and then you can manipulate it that way, yeah, whatever you needed to do. Okay, I'll close here. And uh, another thing, of course, when you have inventory products coming in and out, things happen. There's, uh, if you needed to edit the inventory, you can sort by UPC or, you know, you know, up, down, or down, up, you know, alphabetical order. Same thing with description, alphabetical order, or reverse alphabetical order. Quantity by memo. And if you ever wanted to delete an entry, just click right here. Click the delete key and click yes. Okay. Or you can make any any edits right here. So so besides. Okay. So you could change anything that's here. If you need to change an inventory count, you did a manual count. You actually have five in there. You can go ahead and change that. You cannot change the UPC code that that's constant. Those can't be changed. So those are the new features with uh, the Food Pantry software version 2.0 and this will be completed in roughly two to three weeks time. If you're interested in it, let me know and uh, you can contact me either through the website or you can connect, contact the staff at staff at foodpantrysoftware.net. Thank you.